isn't that funny that this would come up as I start the game, as I start walking into Diamond City for this episode? Just wanted to point that out. It's like it knew, like the game knew what I was going to do today. Isn't that wild? Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight, and I know a lot of you probably watched my Valentine's Day special, which was just up this morning, and you thought to yourself, how, Black Knight? Could you have a Valentine's Day special and not include something to do with Nick Valentine? Well, that's because I had something special uh, planned, hi. folks. Uh, hi. Word of advice? Never call your mother a synth unless she really is one. Yikes. <laughs> so, here we are. It's, we're we're going we're gonna to do an actual true Valentine Valentine's Day special. We're gonna go right for, right for the puns. You know how much I love puns. And we're gonna Should investigate. My dad says outside of street people. Okay, these kids keep. I never talk. These kids never talk to me. All of a sudden, I guess there's something about standing right here. Let's go investigate the, the, the you know, investigate the detective cases. That's one of the miscellaneous things I've got going. I'm trying to clear out. As many of these quests as I can. Now, special delivery we're gonna we can do. I wonder if we'll do that in this episode. I'll make it a really long episode. I can't do var I can't finish var variable remover because I go back and talk to Pam. She sends me off to shoot the uh, the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm still trying to maintain that balance where everybody's you know you know still here, except for the Institute. So let's look at this. Collecting technical documents for Proctor Quinlan that goes on forever. So let's check the detective cases. And it's a thing to do. Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day. And although we're referring to Bishop and Martyr, Saint Valentine, today it's going to be all Thanks about again Nick. for closing out the Nakano case. You never know where some of the hard ones are going to take you. Oh, no problem. You, you thanked me before. That's odd. McDonough being a synth isn't going to make my life in Diamond City any easier. Well, no. At least most people think I'm just a robot. I still think of you as just a robot, Nick. All right, Nick. Hits. Time to hit the road. Let's head out. Well, all right. So, any stories you two come across out there? I get the exclusive, right? Piper, I wouldn't know who else to tell. Okay, we're going to hit cancel. And now she's going back to public occurrences because she really needs to spend more time with her sister. I thought. I had Rob Kofun. I thought I grabbed this already. Was that Nick's something? not the type to turn someone away, but he's only one person. So sometimes things just pile up. Right, so we're going to check some cases here. I know that. But first of all, I could have sworn I took that Rob Kofun. Does it, does it respawn? If we go to data quest... Uh, I think inventory, and then we have to go to miscellaneous. Do I already have Rob Kofun? I do! So I've already gotten that. Right? Is there multiple Rob Kofuns? That's the one. Well, I guess you can you can get it multiple times. But well, let's look here. The the Earl Sterling case file. It's right here. Is there another case file? Yeah, Earl Sterling. The Mysterious Stranger. Read. Case, the Mysterious Stranger. I never did, I have never put a point in Mysterious Stranger, believe it or not. Sightings of a man dubbed the Mysterious Stranger have been popping up sporadically across the old U.S. for years now. Best case, the man's an amoral lunatic. Worst case, a prolific serial killer. Yeah, but you never thought of him that way. All anyone knows is his M.O. Appearing suddenly. Killing without remorse. Disappearing without a word. The stranger has no known accomplices. Now that's not really true. He's helping me in many different games. Which, I'm a different person in many different games, but still. And no clear method for selecting his targets. No calling cards left behind. Settings range from the NCR all the way to the East Coast, stretching back decades. Now he's come to the Commonwealth. 
Last thing this place needs is another psychopath running amok. Time to start putting together the pieces for this one right away. Oh, this one away. Starting to, yeah, st time to start putting the pieces to put this one away. I didn't read that right. Description. Human male. Outfits vary, but most recent sightings describe a large overcoat and fedora. Guy has taste. I'll give him that much. One man? Multiple men? A ghoul with minimal scarring? Might explain the long passages of time between sightings. Appears and disappears suddenly, suggesting preternatural infiltration abilities, access to advanced cloaking tech. All but the er all but earliest description suggests the stranger uses only conventional arms, making infiltration training more likely. Perhaps this, perhaps like this, oh perps, perps like this make me wish the institute had sprung for thermal detection before giving me the boot. Sighting locations, Commonwealth confirmed, Capital Wasteland confirmed, NCR, old rumors, Shady Sands, really old rumors. We could take this. We got it, right? Hot plate. Why would we keep a hot plate next to that? Ah, he's Nick. And fusion cells. Is there, are there any cases upstairs? This must be, um, this must be where the secretary stays. All right. Well, we don't want to rob the secretary. And restricted area. I like it. Where? That's interesting. Where? What restricted area has he been in that he's taken that sign? That, yeah, is in a restricted area. Filing cabinets. I think there. We're open for business again. Thanks so much for all your help. The Marty Bullfinch case file. Okay, we want to do... Are there two of them? Technical document. Um, sorry, got to take that. So we got Marty Bullfinch. And Earl Sterling. I don't know the details of either of these. Let's grab the one over here. Let's do Marty. The Marty Bullfinch case. Marty was Nick's partner. Emphasis on the was. He must have been some kind of desperate to come to us for help after all this time. Well, Marty and I never exactly saw eye to eye. Mostly because he was usually passed out on the barroom floor. Aw, oh, come on, Nick. Think of the good times. What, when he quit? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the one I'm thinking of. All right. So we have a, a, a guy who has a predilection for alcohol. Let's see, stats. Now, no, we get inventory, data, miscellaneous. His old partner. Dicky, you old bucket of bolts, it's Marty. I know it's been a while, but I came across a little mystery I thought might get your circuits firing. You remember that ugly grasshopper statue on top of Faneuil Hall? Turns out it's got a note in it. A note written by the son of one, Shem Drown. I don't expect that name means anything to you, but the guy was a coppersmith. Way back when folks did shit like that. Apparently, this note leads straight to the old guy's stash. I don't know what's in it, but I'd sure like to know if it's still there. I'm gonna go do a little recon on the hall. If you decide you want to get the team back together, you let me know. The Gilded Grasshopper. Find the Gilded Grasshopper. Okay, this sounds like yeah, you know, this sounds like a nice light sort of thing. Alright, let's go do that. The find the gilded grasshopper. Now that's a Valentine's Day kind of thing I can get by. If you're looking for gift ideas this Valentine's Day, first of all, it's entirely too late because it is Valentine's Day. See, um, you know, ooh, that you know what? This would probably. I'm just saying, that that might make for a really good thumbnail. Hey there, oh, mister. we'll work something. Hello. Let's go. To data, to map, 
Let's wait, data, and then quests. Flag it. Map it out. Oh, there it is. Deep in the heart of town here. And don't forget, this is something that probably... Oh, look at that! It's near the, uh, it's near Fernuli Hall. Right near the new location of the U.S. Constitution. I wonder if we could fast travel to the Constitution. No. Alright, we're going to do this without power armor, just for the heck of it. So we're not going to go there. We're not going to try and leap our way up there just yet. I hate to use power armor unless I really think I need to go jumping a boot things. Oh, this is up at the top of a statue, so that might be, uh... That might be an easy way to get there. Boof, boof, boof. But, you know. For right now, let's try to do it the way they probably expect you to do it. Gumshoe style. We'll do it like a gumshoe. Do it like a gumshoe. I got gum on my shoes. Why do they say gumshoe? Is that like... I remember when I was a kid, uh, one of the, the shoes... You actually get like shoes like a gum kind of rubber, almost like an eraser kind of bottom to them. I haven't seen those in a long time. Though I imagine, you know, that would probably be pretty comfortable. I wonder if that still exists anywhere. An actual gum shoe. But I don't know if, if gum shoe just means that you're walking the street all the time, you end up with gum on your shoes. The load times the load times are so big on this, I can press I could uh I could look it up. Oh here we go. Faneuil Hall. Cradle of Liberty turned slaughterhouse. Yep. We've got some mutants to deal with. What? Who's there? Wait, I need to... I don't have my guns. Okay, this is a problem. We need to get the hell out of here or reload from the previous thing because I've left my weapons. Oh, I was doing work at a, at a settlement. Oh, dear. Okay, I have guns now. That was annoying. And I did look it up. That actually did come from the fact that detectives used to wear rubber-soled shoes for stealthy operations. So you wouldn't hear them. They could sneak up. They were sneaky. That robot's not sneaky. You know what else isn't sneaky? Loading times. Interesting little tidbit. You know why I think my loading times are especially long today? It's because right now as I'm playing this uh, Valentine's Day special, I'm uploading the first one that's going to be happening. That happened, came on this morning. The one about the romance. That's right, today's a twofer. It's a double Fallout Friday. Because. And who knows, maybe if this is, you know, if things go well, I mean, will this end up being a triple Fallout Friday? Or we just have a whole lot of Valentine's. It'll be a double Fallout Friday, and one will be, a couple will be really long. Uh, Faneuil Hall. Cradle of Liberty turns slaughterhouse. Well, let's go. Who's there gonna splatter your brain? Are you? Uh, out there, somewhere. But they're probably all antique chairs, you know that. That's from the cradle of history here. Just stand! Stand! Nick, you ran in front of me here. All this for a gilded something or other. Isn't that an odd thing? Here's looking at your nuclear material, kid. I'm kind of thinking it would have been nice to take the, the suit, but... Now I am still running this on easy in the hopes. See that I'll get more um 
more legendary stuff. I mean, that, that could be a flawed premise. But it seemed like when I had it set to extremely hard, I wasn't getting very much. Did we go up any further? No. And then it seemed like, I forget, I changed it to easy for some reason. You've seen it. It's... And I got immediately got a bunch of, of legendary stuff. I really just want a bunch of sharp armor. Okay, so these guys have all been blasted. We open the Fwenelli Hall. Fwenelli. Fwenelli. Who do we shoot? No green stuff here. <laughs> What's that? Come on now. See, legendary. Yeah. When I thought we were getting along. <laughs> he is funny. Please bring me sharp stuff. You can't hide forever. I'm not really intending on hiding forever. I'm kind of killing you and getting your laser stuff. Anybody now. You had your time, human! Explosive radium rifle? And expl ex bullets explode on impact doing 15 am area damage effect. And it's a radium rifle, so therefore it has other effects. Oh, absolutely take that. That could be that could be useful. I don't think it'll. Let's let's look at that one. That looks cool. Damage eighty. It does fifty rad damage on top of that and pop of the explosive. So that's not I tell you what, if I didn't have this, which does just so much area effect because of all the pellets, that would be a very viable weapon, let me tell you. Teddy bear. Pull it teddy bear. You're in an unhappy this place. Is no game, human. Yeah, you think? Yeah, no, not real likely. Well, we may as well fully, ex you know, check this place out. Oh, come on, sweet spot ahoy! Got it. Nice. I gave him that. That was a dumb idea. Whoever did that. Hot plate. Hot plate. Hot plate. Copy plate. I I know I just blasted the crap out of a bunch of people here. Where are the bunch of former people? You mumble a lot. Okay, I probably mumble a lot. Mumble, 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 Jimbo. Don't you win. They got me mad. There's a... A screen. The manager's terminal. Let's soak up some lore. Mm. Weekly sales down 3% relative to last year. Merchants meeting focused on shoplifting crisis. Discussed Fallon's proposal for... Protectrons and society objections to it. Society issued veto on historic preservation grounds. All merchants agreed to detailed inventory tracking to assess scope of problem. Week of sales up 11% due to Columbus Day holiday. Merchants inventory report showed net losses of blah 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 for the week with 12 uh, confirmed shoplifting incidents. Several merchants threatened to sue for... That's actually probably considering the fallout economy not a lot of money. Several merchants threatened to sue for breach of contract over security issues. Fallon's is prepared to withdraw immediately. Recommend moving forward with Protectron. See, I mumble. Installation despite society objections. Does that mean we have some robots here? Weekly says that 81% due to press coverage of the incidents. Seven deaths reported due to altercations with Protectrons. <laughs> including five alleged uplifters. One bystander and Fallon's cashier. 
Disable protect runs pending technical review. Merchants meeting canceled to avoid further media. That didn't go well. Robots not always. But that does mean there are some disabled protectrons here. Meeting called to order. Jay Winthrop presiding. Read minutes of August meeting. Minutes approved. 14 and nothing. We never do that my, on my foundation. We never do the minutes approved from last week. We never go over last week's minutes. That might be a thing we need to do. Just, I'm thinking out loud here. I have to talk to talk to the guys next time. That should be coming up in a couple of weeks. Man. Not relative to you. I mean relative to when I'm recording this. Motion to amend the society charter to emphasize. Actually, it could be today. Or the, I'll have to look at what the, you know, as far as the next in the foot in, in February. If they haven't thrown me off the board by then, yeah, you know. You know me. I just have a way of saying whatever comes to mind. Uh, <laughs> motion to amend the society charter to emphasize historic preservation as primary mission over charitable activities. Motion carried 923. Motion to consider merchant's proposal for protectrons to secure the Fanuli Hall marketplace. Objections raised on historic preservation grounds. Motion failed. Motion to file suit against new owners of Old Corner Bookstore due to violation of Historic Preservation Charter. Motion carried. Motion adjourned. All right. October meeting. Meeting failed. Meeting called to order. Jay Winthrop presiding. Reading minutes of September meeting. Minutes approved 11 and 0. Three people didn't show up. Report from C. Winthrop on... C. Winthrop! So there's a little bit of, you know... A little bit of family on the board here, you know, a little bit of nepotism, or nepotism, you say tomato, I say tomato, on the legal action against Old Corner Bookstore, reports from Mayor's Office on Fanuli Hall Merchants Dispute, Mayor insists that Protectron installation will proceed, despite ob objections, motion to allocate funds for Fanuli Hall roof repairs, motion carried, contractor begin work next week, meeting adjourned, that's October... Oh. Why did something go boop? I don't know. That's... So they're going to fix the roof, so there should be a hole in the roof. Tour script. Established by Peter Fanuli in 1742, Fanuli Hall has been the civic heart of Boston for three centuries. The meeting hall was... The meeting hall has hosted speakers and debates from the first patriots to modern presidents. And Fanuli Marketplace is an oasis of commerce in the center of Boston's modern business district. Please take the time to explore the building and visit our merchants. Those of you with an interest in fine art may appreciate the gilded grasshopper, which can be seen in on the weather vane atop the cupola. For those of you following the Freedom Trail, the next site on the trail will be the Revere House in North End. So that was some useful information. First of all, oh, here's one more thing. We were talking about useful information. Let's save ourselves some ammo here. Yeah, yeah, Rob Robco license technicians all died off years ago. Choose personality mode. I think we want to go law enforcement here. Just for the, f you know, yeah, we could have them try to go heal people, but we want something that's going to walk around and just shoot these guys. That. Yeah, construction workers could use. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe we should go construction worker because they'll use nail guns. And there should be extra tough, and that might be a thing. Dealing with these super mutants, we might need some some tough old construction workers here. You know what I mean? I don't know why they'd be from New York. Boop. Now, where is it? Here, right now. Fanuli Hall cashier's key. I love that part of the game when you can just unleash something. That's easy friendly to me. Hi. Oh, there's bunches of them. Why do the human always fight? 
Well, this looks like it got to be unpleasant. I wonder if there's any protectrons anywhere else. That might only have been... Do you think? That's there's some insight for you, dude. It's extinguisher. Yeah, super mutants always have the. Stop putting off that detection. Okay, there's a, a way into the. Uh, stupid human. I'm a stupid human. You're a stupid mutant. Grenad! Something out there. Bleed! Bleed and die! I guess those two go together. Chopping up all finally hall, but it's really not that much uh something out. Got your dog! Got you! I'll get you and your little dog too. <laughs> so far. Well, I mean, I haven't had a really great weekend here as far as you know being in you know post apocalyptic all. Post apocalyptic lifestyles. Post apocalyptic living. Post apocalyptic bull crap. You know, so me. So we are doing, you know, uh, a benefit to the, uh... Someone's coming. You got a gun! I got one too. You humans made us! Now suffer for your arrogance! I'm impressed that you know the word arrogance. Who's shooting? Stop that! Be nice. Working computers? No? No. Kill them! Kill them all! These guys really no, need to relax. Oh, come on, dude, you know me. I got the junks going for me. I gotta feast on your flesh, human! Ooh, two hands. Can you get aluminum from them? Even though they're tin. I don't think tin is a thing. The good news about super mutants is they don't carry a lot of stuff, so you just get, you know, weapons and things. And steamer trunk. That's an end of end of dungeon chunking zone. That's the reward. So you go up to the cupola. Ah, cupola options. Ha <laughs> ha! I love that. Uh, there was an elevator downstairs, right? Yeah, I elevate. This might have to elevate ourselves. We. Financial district? No, we don't want to go out to the financial district. Here it is. Elevator! And there is a way out. You can go out on the hatch. If you really want to, but we're just gonna go boop. Going up. Going up in Fanuli Hall. Going up in which I wonder how they got this past the historical accuracy committee. Probably handicapped access. That's probably it. Oh here we are. Wonder if this ends up being something where we can't get to where we need to go. Unless so this just takes me out where I was. Oh gee, they thought I would get a lot. Higher up. Alright. I wonder how close to the actual layout of Fanuli Hall this is. I've been there. But it's been a long time. Oh, there's a thing here. Alright. A ladder! Alright, that's how you told you have to I missed this ladder when I was here. Alright, well that was silly of me. But at least we explored the elevator and it's it's clear in my mind. The gilded thing. With the other guild thing and the thing. There's a thing and the thing and the thing. Blah ba dippy dappy dippy dap. Why is the loading screen so long? Oh that's right, I'm uploading a different video. 
Check it out today if you want to learn about romance. Let's do the time. Oh, there we go. Okay, so. Here we are. Um, can we get over this? Woo! Alright. Guess Marty never quite made it. Don't worry, pal. We'll close this one out for you. Oh! There he is! It's Marty! Got himself some... Some... This, some that, a little razor gleam. You know what? We're gonna leave your dirty black suit because, you know, I don't want to disrespect this guy. When his pale ale bottle. His battered fedora. Should we leave him with his battered fedora? His tool case with his snub nosed pistol. We should rename that, you know, Marty's Snubnose. The Marty Bullfinch Snubnose Pistol. And we'll... So the whole point is to get the Gilded Grasshopper. Perfect. <laughs> Food for the Grasshopper added. What? Read food. Oh, there's the note. Oh, read food for the Grasshopper. Okay. That's where the stash is. Right? So we go to data. Oh no, inventory misc. Miscellaneous. Poor Nick. Here it is, Valentine's Day. Just found out his old partner, who was apparently something of a jerk. I went rolled past it. What am I looking at? I'm thinking Marty, and I should be thinking food for the grasshopper. <coughs> Shem Drone made it. Shem Drone made it. May 25th, 1742. To my brethren and fellow... Oh, what's the heck? Shem Drone made it. Okay, this is a note from 1742. To my brethren and fellow grasshoppers. Fell in year 1753, 1755, November 13th. Er... That's, is that a Monty Python thing? Fell in ye year 1753. 1755, sir! Um, the whole 3 5 thing. November 13th, early in ye morning by a great earthquake by my old master above. Again, like to have met with utter ruin by fire, by hopping timely from my public station, came of the broken bones and much bruised. What the heck is this? Cured and fixed. Old Master's son, Thomas Drone, June 28th, 1768. And though I will promise to discharge my office, yet I shall vary as he wind. On the banks of the Charles, where forever rests Master Shem, there one can find a life's worth. Find Shem Drown's... Okay, is there, is there a map point here? So that's pretty vague if we have to go find the grave on the banks of the Charles. Let's show supply lines. That might take out... So let's see, that's just a... Where is... Oh wait, there is a marker. Okay, so what? Maybe it didn't come up until... Okay, Pikmin's Gal. Okay, let's see. What's the closest thing? I don't want to go to Pikmin's Car. Uh, you know, it's the Old Norse Church is pretty safe. Cabot House. Now the Cabot House is actually kind of on our, our our list of things to do too. But Old Norse Church. We're not going to say hello to anyone from the railroad, but because the railroad's there, probably not a lot of stuff trying to eat us. Eating us is a thing. Now. Something is doing 
Boku damage someplace. I'm carrying too much and can't run. Well, we'll, we'll empty all this out after we get a lifetime's worth. See anybody? Now that we should be getting into the realm of where things could get interesting. Approach and identify yourself. Law abiding citizens. Ah, ferals. Ying! All right. Here it is. Shem drowns. Drownays. Drowns. Dig. Digging it up, digging it out, violating graves, that's what we do, because what the heck, it's post-apocalyptia. Ew. Completed! So, Shem Drown had himself buried with all his treasure. Guess some people just can't let go. Yeah. Valentine liked that, I imagine he would. Fear not, Reed. Fear not, though Devil's Iron makes this blade... Only he who wields can make it wicked. Drown. Shem Drown Sword. Yes. All right. Targets take radiation damage. That's weird. Silver bar, silver bar, copper bar, copper bar, copper bar. We could take his skull. That seems kind of creepy, but on the other hand, I'd hate to see it go to, go to waste here. It's not that we'd build it into anything, but yeah, to drop it in a case somewhere. So that people can appreciate this skull of Shem Ron, you know, that's... Anything useful? Yeah, there's always something useful. All right, so that's one case down. Now, there's people killing each other all around us here. Those are probably my provisioners. Yep. Who is that? Oh, Sergeant Longshot. Very good. He's got freaking nukes, I think. All right, let's 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 do the time warp again here. Oh, look, Bunker Hill. Don't look at it too long though, because if I pick up any of the what I built there, it might blow the game up. No, not about you, but I still have a hankering for some more cases. Let's... Don't be caught dead. <laughs> Protection. But he's really yelling a long way. Oh, look who's back. How'd things go with Marty? Not great. Was he drunk? Dead. Made it all the way through Faneuil Hall, too. Went out like a champ. No fooling. Our Marty made it through Faneuil Hall. Didn't think he had it in him. Well, we still got that other case. Tracking down Earl Sterling, if you're up for it. It's on the desk. Out like a champ, huh? Good for Marty. Cool. Thanks again for closing out the Nakano case. You never know where some of the hard ones are going to take you. Well, so here we are. We're set right up. Case Earl Sterling's disappearance. Client Vladim Bobrov. Ah, oh, Vladim. Okay. Another disappearing act on Ravel. Earl Sterling, 25-year-old bartender at the dugout. One of the owners, Vladim Bobrov, noticed that Earl hadn't been into work for a few days. Security was called in. No investigation, of course. The Institute took him as the unofficial word about the uh, town, like always. Vladim came to my office, half drunk, with a sob story about how he and Earl went way back, and he just can't believe that Earl would get snatched up by the boogeyman. My gut says he's right. Earl didn't have any enemies, at least none with motive enough to kill the guy. Not living with anyone either. So I'll have to see if Vladim or somebody else at the dugout had his keys. I'd rather not have to explain the security while I was picking the lock on Earl's door. If I slip up and get caught in the act. Take this. The Earl Sterling case. Apparently Earl just up and disappeared one day. No one's seen him since. I've been meaning to put Earl's case to bed for a while now. Glad you're up for it. 
So, what's your take on the case, Ellie? On Earl? Well, he didn't have any enemies, that's for sure. Someone would have to notice you're alive first. And Earl didn't exactly have the charisma to inspire any crimes of passion. What's that leave us? I don't know, Nick. It can't be the Institute, right? Hmm. Guess we'll just have to see. Well, we can go see. Let's go talk to Vladim. Probably short for Vladimir, but they've forgotten not to say the name over a few hundred years. Go into C. Let's see the dugout. We went past the dugout on the way around, did we not? Yeah, please. It's true. I got shot in the ass last year. Long story. Hey, we all get shot in the ass sometimes, right? Every time I walk in the dugout in Something bizarre starts to happen here. No one knew Earl better than these folks. Ought to ask around, see what people know. McDonough is gone. Turns out, he was a sim uh, sim. Maybe I'll run for the mayor one day. You know, I was once king of the entire country. <laughs> All women. <laughs> Earl Sterling used to work here, right? Poor Earl. Gone just like that. Such a good bartender. Good friend. Oh, <laughs> terrible with women, mind you. Bull in China shop with them. You with Valentine's Detective Agency? I forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. Here, I hope you find out what happened. Security does nothing but yell at me for asking about it. Now, let me pour you a drink. Come on. You staying out of trouble? <laughs> you are checking up on me? I love it. Do not worry. I have cut ties with anyone who might try to kill me over debts. All is well, friend. Relax. Good that I could, but we're on a job at the moment. Let's see what you got. That's what I like to hear. Let's get some Bob Rub's best. Some whiskey, some vodka. Some nuka. Some beer. Some bourbon. All right. Thank you. I just give you cash. I love you. Here. We all pitched in and we want you to have this. You're a hero. You know that? Touch a follow three. You last once you leave the wall. So don't get jumpy. Need new clothes? Should stop by Fallon's basement. Open during the day. All right, we got the key. I imagine there's not too much else to talk to about here, you know? <coughs> Maybe there are, but it doesn't seem like there's even this resident. Becky Fallon. Uh, no, if we flag this up here. The disappearing act. It's close. We got the key. No point in getting ourselves in trouble, you know. Why am I still talking Russian? I'll Search start his... in here. Why don't you check out the living room? There must be some hint where that boy ran off to. You know, for all the talk, I'd put the chances of this being an institute snatch job somewhere between zero and none. Just think about it. Earl Sterling, local assistant bartender. Why not nab the bartender himself? To a bottle cap. Nothing so far. Some papers on the ground, but they're not lighting up. Heavy smoker. Maybe cancer got him. Okay. Is 
Shotgun shells, clean black. I'm probably gonna take the shotgun shells. He's not gonna need a suit. Alright, let's just raid the dude. Um, come on, where's the hint? So where are Bandana? Hmm? And these are all these are all evidence. That's right, it's evidence. Canned dog food. Well, the man didn't have a refined palate. Is it one of these? You have to scoot down? And you'd think somewhere here there'd be a whole item. Aha! Surgery receipt. Mega Surgery Center. Dr. Crocker. Resident Surgeon. Reconstruction of Surgery Face. So he's changed his face. To be formed upon final installment payment Sterling Earl. A receipt from the Mega Surgery Center, huh? Wonder what the good doctors have to say about that. Uh, let's find out. Did this guy just want a new life, so I'm tired of being this loser assistant bartender. And not that being an assistant bartender makes you a loser. Not to talk to strangers. Well, then stop talking to me. Um, assistant bartenders are some of the most important people we have going. Trust me. But it's a. Uh, but he's apparently, you know, wasn't a happy guy. All right. Hey, Doc. This better be an emergency. Do you know anything about this receipt? Let me see. Hmm. This is Dr. Crocker's deplorable handwriting, all right. Looks like Earl Sterling was one of his patients. The procedure noted here is mundane. Low-risk cosmetic work. Dr. Crocker never performed it, however. Said Earl vanished before he paid. Now, let's get back to talking about your medical needs. Where is Doc Crocker? Last time I saw him, he had to get something out of the surgery cellar. Probably just had to wash some needles or move some storage around. Now, I must insist we talk about your medical needs. I need to get into the cellar, Doctor. What does this look like? A public outhouse? Uh, you know what? Don't answer. Why on earth would I let you down there? Okay, let's see. Let's go investigating a missing person. I'm investigating a missing person, Doctor. And I think the trail leads to your basement. A missing person? You're talking about Earl, aren't you? You can't honestly think... You know what? Fine. If it'll put the matter to rest. Here, go see for yourself. But if I find one instrument out of place, you'll be getting the bill. All right. So we go to the... Tracks of blood! Where'd all this blood come from? It goes right into the basement. Why would there be blood going into the basement? I would imagine things went wrong in the basement if anything was... Or maybe he tried to work oh, on them outside? Earl. You've... You've really been a handful, you know. But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. Okay, wait a minute. We're gonna, we're gonna, I need to do something here. New save, because we're gonna have to do... Yeah, you fix things, all right. Fixed yourself some time in a Diamond City jail cell. Jail cell? <laughs> you don't get it, do you? <laughs> Doc Crocker isn't going to jail. He's going to go back to his surgery, where people love him. And they love him because Doc Crocker never loses patience. He just makes people happy. Okay, well, we could try this. You made a mistake, but you can still do the right thing, Doctor. 
Just think this through. Drop the weapon, Doc. Haven't enough people suffered today? You're... You're right. There's one thing I can do. Only one thing is going to make this all better. I can fix... anything. What's going on here? Is... Is that Dr. Crocker? I think... Where are you going? I'm reporting this. God, look at this mess. Did I screw that up just because I walked towards them? Let's, let's try this again. I, I don't care. Actually, I mean, as far as the outcome was concerned, but I interrupted uh, the other doc's speech. But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. Why would he chop him into bits? Take it easy, Doc. Let's talk about Earl. I didn't mean to do it. You have to believe me. Doc Crocker is a brilliant surgeon. No one dies under his care. No one dies. They just walk away happy. Happy with my work. Happy with their new face. Not screaming. Not bleeding out onto the floor. Earl, he... He just didn't want to be happy. That must have been it. Okay, we don't want to arrest him. because Let's try to end peacefully. That's going to be the way that Nick would want it. You made a mistake. But you can still do the right thing, Doctor. Just think this through. Drop the weapon, Doc. Haven't enough people suffered today? You're... Oh, you're right. It. There's one thing I can do. Only one thing is going to make this all better. I can fix... anything. Okay, so he's lootable. What's going on here? Is... is that Dr. Crocker? I think... Where are you going? I'm reporting this. God, look at this mess. Doc. I'll be informing Diamond City Security about what happened here. Everyone will know what Dr. Crocker did to Earl. Okay, so... There's Earl Sterling's house. We've already got that. Poor Earl. There's Earl. He could get Doc Wouldn't Crocker. We wanted going to waste now, would we? A lab coat and welding goggles. Yeah, that's her. Hey, Doc. You should go. This is my surgery. I'll be the one to set this right. Okay. I strip Doc Crocker nude. Strip Doc Crocker nude. Crocker nude, Crocker nude, Crocker. I don't know why that's fun to say. It's Crocker nude. Now we gotta go talk to Ellie. Hey Ellie, you're not gonna believe this. Doc Crocker apparently wasn't much of a doc. He's just more of a croc. That man decided to die. Oh, let's see. We, we, we That got a little bit clipped. So let's go right to the the quick save here. Let's load that, and I won't I won't do the time warp again because I, I missed some of Nick's wisdom. It, hey, it came too quick. It came too quick. Now we gotta load again. Hear it. We can't blame ourselves. That man decided to die. I concur. No, I absolutely concur. He just we were the, as nice as pie to this guy. Boobity. Just spreading the good news to Diamond City. Good job. Good job. Keeps doing that. Where are we going the wrong way? I'm going to running around like a crazy person here. Like a crazy person. Doc Crocker was a crock. Hey. His medicine. Up from Quincy? 
sell any Dooby dooby doo. His medicine was locked. Are there any other cases? I guess we ought to give her the news. So, you two find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? Recap! Why was I looking for Earl Sterling again? Well, oh. to help the folks down at the dugout end get some closure about Oh, that's not what I thought a recap of all that yeah, had happened. Plus a pile of caps when it's all said and done. Earl never went anywhere. Doc Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl? Gone as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the Doc now? Rotting in a cell, I hope. He's rotting somewhere. Well, he's rotting somewhere. Somewhere? What do you... Oh. Oh my god. I, I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Here, take this. Sounds like you earned it. I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout in know what happened. Shame it couldn't be better news. Thanks again for closing this one out. Completed the disappearing act. But I feel like I want to steer the other way that that went. Let's see. Let's load. Load the save. If I hadn't been sarcastic and just told her the truth. Look at that giant buggy kind of thing. It's a buggy kind of thing. It's a big buggy thing on the... Okay, here we go. I guess we ought to give her the news. So, you two find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? Yeah, let's go right to here. Earl never went anywhere. Doc Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl? Gone as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the Doc now? Rotting in a cell, I hope. Crocker killed himself. He couldn't take the guilt. Goodness. I'm sorry you two had to go through that. Here, take this. Sounds like you earned it. I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout in know what happened. Shame it couldn't be better news. Thanks again for closing this one out. Completed the disappearing act. All right, and I think that's probably how it would go. You know, it was a somber moment. Hey, now uh, see what I can do. Nick. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Your thoughts? used to wonder how folks lasted as long as they have out here. But now I know. It's thanks to people like you. Your thoughts? The detective's life isn't an easy one, but it rarely lacks for excitement. Nothing else for now. Got it. Alrighty then. He made it all the way to the grasshopper. Seems I never gave him enough credit. Poor guy. All right, well, here's what we need to, to look at. <laughs> That's interesting. There's a, now a surgical scalpel in the filing cabinet. Is that part from the, the data? Is that from that quest? We've done it. We've completed all of Nick's old cases. So I guess that pretty much wraps it up for this one. Ooh, you know what? There is one thing we can do. Uh, help defend the visitor center. Okay, fine. We'll do that. That's a little bit of bonus for you there. Me and Nick will go defend the visitor center. But first, there we have it. An homage to Doc Crocker. And the terrible day we discovered what happened to Earl. Alright, let's, let's dump some more stuff off here and go save the visitor center again. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that's funny or not, but it's there, you know, it's... Ah, <sighs> Lead Belly. Lead Belly! Particularly good if you're eating a lot of wings. Or hot cherry peppers. I do like myself a hot cherry pepper, especially if I have pneumonia. You know, now that the pneumonia is pretty much, as far as I can tell, that's all gone. I have a little cough every once in a while, but every, you know, mostly that's all gone. But, you know, it's, um, it's an interesting thing. I find those hot cherry peppers are just entirely too hot for me.
At least has that gun tower on it. Got a lot of guns. Alright, finally, we've got a settler who's like using the weapons that I provide. That's good. I haven't seen him do that in a while, and this is so messy, it's hard to find. A little mutant hound meat. Assault rifle. Okay, where's the other... That's not even coming up. It must be the trees that are keeping them alive. <laughs> well, it looks like they're getting killed. Roll on easy. They're just shooting the crap out of the trees. <laughs> Blasting the ever living crapola out of those trees. My goodness. All right. Well, hey. Okay, settlers. Looks like, I don't think we have any dead settlers. I just need to trade gear with you. Hey, you know what you need to do? You need to upgrade here a little bit. Have all of it. The fog's poison, on account of the children of Adam. Ah, oh, they're so mad about that. Slippery sledge, human. I'm glad he's carrying his lucky human jaw. I don't see, um. Oh, Nautilus! How's it going? One of my robots. He's not dead, he's alive. Settlers, moo cows. That's a random moo cow. Is there. Do we have. A place to store um, cows here. Oh, I don't see one. Let's let's try. Let's put them in here. If you go to. There's a very good chance nothing else. Spectacle Islands under attack now. What the heck? If I go to resources. Miscellaneous. Here, let's, let's throw down a couple Brahmin drops. Nothing more can be built. All right. Now we don't want to store the concrete wall. Now. At least we can collect the cows now. Um, all right. Spectacle Island's under it now. You want to come along? We'll go to Spectacle Island. I know. It's... Where is... By the way, the Lone Wanderer. Where is the workshop for this place? Eh, we'll come back for the junk another time. Let's go and go back to the Commonwealth. This was all a ruse, a distraction. They attack us. They send super mutants here so they can really attack the real target, Spectacle Island. Which, by the way, should be interesting because I've upgraded the defenses recently of Spectacle Island so that... The one blind zone where my guns couldn't reach is no longer blind. So I am somewhat curious as to how this goes. Ta-da! 
Oh, no, we're not there yet. We're not there. It's a Spectacle Island. Fast traveling to Spectacle Island, where we're about to see a spectacle. Ha! It's going to be spectacular. Why don't we spectate Spectacle Island on Valentine's Day? Oh, yeah. Anybody get where I'm going with that? Anybody know the... Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Okay, that's... Uh, we'll see if anyone can figure that out. But comment in the description if you know where that impression's coming from. Doobity-doo. Oh, this is taking a long time. Such a long time to load. And here we go. Take cover. I think you're under attack. That sounds like a lone, a lone missile. Just launching off into the distance. Let's get some high ground and take a look around. Farming's as honest as honest work gets. Well, what's the issue here, folks? Head up to the roof. It's still a thing, right? Yep, still a thing. What's fire? I'm eating rads here. Is there anybody down there? I don't know where I put the guns, there's not anybody there. That's, there's a whole bunch on the other side there protecting the water. Other side of the island? Oh sure, I put all these guns on this side of the island because that's where the blind spot was and now there's like ding ding. <coughs> Something. Where the heck? What the heck is going on? This is weird. This is weird. Where the heck are the bad guys? <laughs> what the hell was that? Well, we didn't get the spectacle that I intended, but we, uh... That's a spectacle. Boom! <laughs> why, why did he suddenly discover gravity? I'd like to trade some items. That's enough. 
Oh, he, that's even that didn't. Automatic plasma pistol just laying on the ground. What the? Oh, there's a robot there. Let's see if I don't know who it is, but let's see if we can fix him up. Wee! Right under you. Before he gets out of range. That was the okay, case. Sea spray. Oh, sea spray is one of my faves. Head. Why do we want to do sea spray up? Should we make him a space guy? No, he's, he's going to be blue. Let's see. So we got the right head, head armor. I always go Cyclops on these. Given that long range attack that Sea Spray should really have. Torso. Let's make him beefy. Front armor. There's a cow here. Let's see. Can we do lots of voltaic? We should be able to do lots of everything. Left shoulder slot. Oh uh, yeah, we definitely. Yeah, let's use a nuka launcher. Right shoulder slot. Let's have him able to nuke stuff. This torn or so mod. What about sensor array? And I think that that could help. Oh no, you know what? Let's see. What's the what's the um, tracks targets now? It's, 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 that could be useful, but that could screw stuff up if he goes in the wrong place. Okay, left arm. We're gonna, we're gonna upgrade his arms here. Entry left arm, left arm armor, voltaic. Or should we go actuated? Now we'll go left arm. We'll go. He, it needs to be a laser. Let's see, blue laser. No, it's red space laser. Because he was he was an Autobot, so he would have had red lasers, right? Red, orange, cast. The Decepticons used to fire blue. Yeah, well, we'll do red space laser. I had one. That works. We'll use Nuka armor. Really nice if I didn't have to, if I wasn't stuck staring at this cow's ass. But we'll just, you know, move on. Certainly another sentry arm. Had one. Right arm armor. Uh, let's see. This time we're going actuated frame. Well, if I go voltaic, it actually increases everything anyway. So, we'll be, keep it consistent. Let's go double space lasers. He has two hands. Double nuka armor. I think that works. Legs, there's only one way of doing this because he was a hovercraft before Mr. Handy Thruster. Oh, you can't have the, 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 uh, the shoulder launchers with the nuka. Fine. Fine, that's fine. I'm sorry, he needs to hover. In which case, if he needs to hover and that's a, a thing. If he can't nuke people, if he's going to be strictly... That. Let's go back to Torso. No, not nuclear trying torso. Robo brain torso. 
That'll make him fast. He improves health. Superior movement speed. Oh, you can't have a robot. Okay, no. Fine. We're going back to a Saltron torso. There you go. Screw it. We're going right back. We're going to redo everything we just did so he doesn't eat more of our stuff up here. I'm so confused. We need to do the head again. The head. He needs a head. Robo brain head and armor. Legs. He's still going to float. He's a hovercraft. Yeah. So we get the one so a male voice that sounds like it's gargling. This one must worth paint. Why do I not have paint options? First thing, paint a, a separate thing. Okay, rubber brain. I can't see him, so rubber brain, cyclops helm, torso, ba ba ba, left arm, ba ba ba, right arm, ba ba ba, leg, ba ba ba. Where's paint? Okay, let's exit for right now. Try not to sever anything you might miss. Oh, the Nuka... The, to put the Nuka things on, it changes them yellow. No, okay, we're not doing that. Fine. Okay, we're, we're getting rid of that. Now then we go right arm, change the Nuka armor to actuated. Actually, hydraulics do better. Did you do hydraulics? It's even tougher now. And now... There should be paint! Right? Entry. Just with the red space laser alone, it makes it so that you can't paint him? Fine. You know what? Sea Spray had yellow on him, too. He was yellow and blue. That's, that was frustrating, but all right. Still looks cool. Wow, this has gone so totally anticlimactic. We never did figure out what we were doing, but here we do have this. And this is what I'm going to leave you with, ladies and gentlemen. On this bizarre note. <laughs> the Levitating Settler. On this note, ladies and gentlemen. This is your Black Knight. Happy Valentine's Day!